OS 10 Yosemite includes a new feature called batch rename, and it allows you to batch rename multiple files at once. I'm going to show you how to use this right now. I've actually created a folder on my desktop here called batch renaming. I'm going to open that folder and you see, I have five different screenshots contained within this folder. So to use batch renaming, all you do is you select all the files that you want to rename and you right click and you select rename. In this case, it says rename five items since there are five items. I'm going to select rename and now you get this, the rename finder items menu. This menu contains three options, replace text, add text, or format. Replace text is, does exactly what it says it does. It allows you to replace specific text within the file name uh, for each item that you have selected. So for instance, these files say screenshot. I'm gonna just gonna type screen shot. And you can see below the example, it is removing the word screenshot because I haven't opted to replace it with anything yet. Now I'm gonna type photos, photos. And you can see I've replaced the word screenshot with the word photos, just like that. Now I'm just gonna click rename. And you can see I renamed all of those with the word photos instead of screenshots uh, or screenshot. So that is the replace option. Now I'm going to right click again and select rename again. And this time I'm going to use the uh, add text option. Uh, so I can add text either after the name or before the name. So I'm going to add it after the name. Uh, I'm going to just type in Jeff. All right. I'm going to put a space there. So all the photos will now be uh, appended with the word Jeff. All right, so I'm gonna rename. So you see those, just like that. Now I'm gonna show you this last option here. I'm gonna rename again. And I'm going to change it to format. Now this is uh, a lot more in depth. You can actually completely change the name uh, with ease using the format option. So I'm gonna select name and format. You can select name and index, name and counter, name and date. Um, so I'm gonna choose name and index. And where you can choose after name or before name, I'm gonna choose after name. And for custom format, you can type your own name like uh, photograph. And then you have your index here. Uh, you can start the number wherever you wanna start it. I can start it at one or I can make it 100 and it'll just increase from there. So it'll be 100, 101, 102, etc. So I'm gonna click rename. And you can see it's renamed them just like this. Um, so it's a really powerful tool, the new batch renaming feature. It doesn't require any third-party plugins or anything like that. It just comes out of the box with a Yosemite, which is really cool. Um, so I'm going to show you one more time. Let's go back, rename five items. And instead of um, the name format, I'm going to choose a name and date. And I'm going to call it uh, new photo. And I'm going to make the date before the name. All right, so rename. So there we go. Um, so you have the date and you have the word new photo and there you go. So like I said, batch renaming is extremely powerful in OS 10 Yosemite and a very welcome feature to anyone who's done any mass file renamings. You know how useful and incredibly uh, convenient such a thing can be. So let me know what you guys think about batch renaming down below in the comment section. This is Jeff with iDownload Blog.